Welcome back to the channel everyone, I hope you are doing absolutely well. This is AT back with another video. So today is going to be a short review of the CR Droid Roam based on Android 9.0 Pi official for the Redmi Note 3. So without any further ado, let's now get started. I will find a light in your soul, I'll be So here is my Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 running the CR Droid ROM and guys first impressions I'm not a big fan of this ROM I don't know for what but I didn't like this ROM that much and I'll also talk about battery life and performance in the later part so do watch this video until the end. Let me first show you the settings menu. So going into system and about phone. The Android version which is obviously 9.0 Pi and the security patch is of January 5, 2019 that's really good when there's security patch level it says unknown over here and the kernel is Xcrema X26 this is the same kernel which we have seen in AEX ROM and I think one more ROM I don't remember which one but the AEX ROM had the same kernel I don't know about the version but even that ROM had the Xcrema kernel that's why the PUBG performance is good in this ROM but battery life is not that great digital well-being is also there pretty much the standard stuff and going into security and location fingerprint scanner is working absolutely fine for me no issues with anything let me show you that as you can see and the speed of fingerprint scanner is also pretty much similar no issues with that location also works fine so going into display here are a couple of standard stuff like the live display here it is so it's disabled right now you can put it to automatic day or night so here it is let me turn it off you can also change the color collaboration over there so going into advanced setting you can enable double tap to wake on the screen so i have enabled this this game disabled by default let me show you that here it is working absolutely well so here are a couple of customization options it says cr droid settings and guys again all of these customization options are pretty much similar which we have seen in other rooms for example the Nitrogen OS, it is pretty much similar. I'll have the link of Nitrogen OS Hindi review and English review in the description. You can watch whichever you want. So I'll not review all of these again. So talking about the performance in this ROM, Antutu Benchmark isn't running in this ROM again. It's the same what we have seen in some other ROMs too. But talking about Geekbench, Geekbench is working absolutely well. Let me show you this course really quick. So going into history. So this is the latest one as you can see 1469 for the single core and 3487 for the multi-core as always you guys as judges you can comment down in the comment section about the performance so as per me the performance in this room is kind of good not the best or not the worst but when i first booted this room with g apps installed the room was lagging like hell yes it was lagging like crazy i don't know for what but there were lags every now and then even though there were no any apps in the memory, still the ROM was laggy. But now it's fine, it's not lagging that much but there are slight lags here and there in the system. So talking about the battery life, let me show you my battery usage really quick by going into battery and the battery usage. So here is my usage guys. When I first booted this ROM, the charge was almost around 75%, 75 to 78%. Later on I used YouTube for a while for like 15 to 20 minutes and there the battery drain was somewhere around 7% I don't know for what again this is not accurate over here You might have got an idea guys as you can see it's showing PUBG use for 35 minutes and the battery drain was 3% Not at all accurate I played PUBG for around 30 minutes one match and there the battery drain was somewhere around 15 to 18% guys Yes 15 to 18% that is too much in my opinion because in the recent times the roms which i have tested didn't drain that much battery in terms of pubg but this rom did as i told you in the start of the video the kernel is good but the pubg performance was really good in this rom there were minimal lags while playing pubg the graphic settings were set to balanced and the frame rate was on medium the gameplay was really good no issues with that minor lags here and there which are expected then I used music player for a while for like 5 to 6 minutes and there the battery drain was somewhere around 2% that's it not more than that. I'll share a screenshot of the standby time in the telegram channel so do check it out the link is in the description. So that was regarding the battery life in this room. One weird bug which I had in the beginning of this room was that the play store was giving errors guys. Now it's working absolutely well as you can see. Here it is. But when I first booted this room and signed into my account the play store was giving something like the server error or something like that everything else was working fine internet connection was fast enough but play store wasn't working now it's working fine after a couple of reboots 
here it is you can download anything from here no issues in my opinion this rom is not that great so wait for the next update and let's see what are the changes in terms of performance and battery life also one more thing guys the font in this rom was really small when i first booted this rom i changed it let me show you that i just forgot to tell that so going into display and the font size i have set it to largest but it was on the default this one it's too small for me at least i hate this kind of fonts i set it to largest i didn't change the display size though because i think default was good for me you can change if you want so that was one thing there are far better roms in terms of battery life and performance when compared to this rom and also that this rom is lagging a little bit that's why i don't recommend you guys to install this rom right now wait for the update and let's see whether there are any changes in terms of performance and battery life i'll be reviewing the latest build of all these roms at present if you ask me which rom to be on you can choose nitrogen os latest build with agni kernel the battery life is really good with that i'll be switching back to nitrogen os latest build link in the description i have reviewed that so that's pretty much it for this video guys if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this also i have started another channel that's moto vlogging and lifestyle vlogging the link is in the description you guys definitely check it out you will just love it that channel is purely in hindi you can watch those videos too moto vlogging in bangalore it is really good also you can follow me on instagram and facebook i am active over there you can ask me any questions related to technology i'll definitely reply to all of those this is all about technology 2027 signing off for the moment you guys have a great day peace